Today we're going to take a look at two spray waxes and see how they stack up. First we're going to look at this Atoms H2O Garden Gloss, which is a polymer, silicon dioxide, and carnauba hybrid sealant. And we're also going to look at Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, which is a polymer-based spray sealant. Now both of these products are meant to be easily used in a wet application, but we're gonna be doing a dry application today. That's what we've done with other wet capable products in the past, and that's what we will do with these guys today. So let's get started. To start out today's application testing with the poly seal from extreme solutions give it a nice shake we're going to take our microfiber and kind of spread it around it smells a little like some uh anti-gastritis medicine i had as a kid actually now it smells kind of fruity but it triggered some weird memories for a second now it smells real good make sure we get every little spot and now we're going to look at the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. Give it a nice shake. And we're going to smear it around. It's kind of weird. It's tripping me out, but it smells very similar. Now we use the dry side of the towel to wipe it up. I don't know why it smells so close to the other one to me. So we just applied both products. Let's talk about ease of application. If it's your first time tuning into my channel, the way ease of application is tested is that I give a one point, a pass, or a zero point fail if I felt like the product was easy to apply. Now, I thought the Extreme Solutions Poly Seal was very easy to apply. Definitely giving it a pass, it was spray on and wipe off, just as they said. Now, for the Adams H2O Garden Gloss, I'm also gonna give one point and a pass because it was pretty easy to apply. Although maybe it was the spray nozzle or it was just thicker than the poly seal, it came out kind of clumpy. Extreme Solutions was kind enough to provide this product for me for free to test. And they also created a coupon code for you guys to get you 10% off. And also, as always, there are Amazon links for all the other products we're testing. Do click those, it does help me out. There's no added cost to you when you buy anything on Amazon. Now let's go test some gloss. This is my gloss testing station. Here we use my panel, which is 94 gloss units with nothing on it, to determine if the products we're applying and testing will raise or lower the gloss. Now, we use a gloss meter to make that determination. We will add points rounded to the nearest tenth of a point for every gloss unit that is raised by the product and we'll subtract that amount of points if gloss is lost. So the very first thing we wanna do is turn our gloss meter on and we wanna calibrate it. So we want that to say 104 and stay there for a bit. Now we will start with the Extreme Solutions first. So we're gonna place our tester. So it looks like 91 up here. We'll move it over here. Looks like we're gonna get 90.6. Move it down here. Looks like we're gonna get 91.6. Move it over here. And looks like 92 over here. And looks like 92 for the metal. So that means our total is 457.2. We're gonna divide that by five to average. And that means our score is gonna be a negative 2.6 points. Now we're gonna take our gloss tester and start doing the H2O Garden Gloss. And looks like we got 89.8 over here. Looks like 90.12 over here. Looks like 90.12 down there. Looks like 91 over here. And we'll do the middle. And it looks like 91.9 in the middle. And divide that by five. So it looks like we got about 90.6 for a score of negative 3.4. Now guys, I will tell you it is not abnormal to get a negative score on this test. Most products reduce actual gloss numbers. That doesn't mean they make the panel look bad. Sometimes they're just thicker products and when they lay on thick, they actually almost look like a second clear coat. The next test that I wanna do is I wanna see if any of these are alcohol resistant. Now, I don't score this test. I wanna see what removes the waxes. 
when we look here, we could see it is clumping up and it does seem to be beating. Some products immediately fail. So we can give it a wipe and then we'll let that dry up. In the meantime, let's spray a little over here. And we're also similarly seeing some amount of beading, not quite as much as the garden gloss. Let's go ahead and spray a little more on the garden gloss side. Yeah, so we're really not seeing any beading now. Let's try a little on the poly seal side. Yeah, so guys, there's no more beading. And one thing we can do now is test the panel for gloss. And you can see it's right around 94. It's now been 24 hours and we are ready to look at the slickness and visual quality of the two sections here that we've treated with our products. First, we're gonna look at the poly seal side and I wanna talk about slickness. So slickness is pass fail, just like ease of application, where if I feel like the surface is nice and slick and would provide good kind of inherent lubricity when you're washing the car so that dirt and debris comes off without leaving swirls and scratches, I would give it a pass. And I have a lot of experience with different products so I can kind of tell how they are and I can also compare them with the control back here. And I can tell you that the poly seal is very slick. So definitely a pass for the poly seal and one point. Now let's talk about the slickness of the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. And I have to say it is incredibly slick. When I'm comparing it to the poly seal over here, I can tell you that it is much slicker. Although the poly seal is still very slick. In fact, it is so slick, I think it is right up there with our gold standard. This Mustang here has Wolfgang Deep Gloss 3, which in my opinion is one of the slickest products out there. So absolutely a point for the Adams H2O Garden Gloss and a pass for slickness. Now I want to talk about the visual appeal of the two products. Visual appeal is also rated pass fail, and it depends on what I think my interpretation of the optical quality is. I have a lot of experience with products and I can tell which ones I think look good. And also I've peeled off the tape on the control side so we can see a line between the product and the bare paint, which also lets me judge if I think the product looks better. And I think the poly seal has made the panel look darker and richer and deeper. I really like that look. What I've done now is placed a sticker where the very left edge of the sticker is touching the treated surface, so left of that edge is all treated and right of that edge is all untreated. I'm hoping that that sticker will allow me to show you the line more clearly between the two products. So overall for the optical quality of the Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, I have to give it a pass. I think it looks terrific. Now, if we take a look at the Adams H2O Garden Gloss side, I think it looks pretty terrific too. I think it's nice and deep and it's definitely enhanced the paint versus the control. I have similarly placed a sticker where the right edge of the sticker touches the line that separates the control from the treated side to help you see it. So everything that is right of the right edge of the sticker is gonna be treated. I'm hoping that you could see that there's also a nice deep line between the atoms and the untreated. I have to say, I think the Extreme Solutions was a little prettier looking, but not a big difference. And I think both look amazing. I'm very happy with the extra depth. So definitely a pass for the H2O Garden Gloss. I think it made the panel look great. I wanted to ask you guys to please click that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up or a nice comment. All of that means a lot to me. I really like talking to all of you. I try to read all of the comments. I try to respond to everyone. It is something that makes me feel engaged and like we're in a community together and it just really drives me to make these videos. Guys, we're ready to do our durability testing and just to remind you on the left, we have the poly seal and on the right, we have the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. The way the durability testing works is we'll assign one point for every successful wash until the wax breaks down and fails. Let's take a look at how hydrophobic they are to begin with. Let's test the atoms first and see how hydrophobic it is. Now let's give the poly seal a test.
for our wash, we're gonna use the Adams foam cannon attachment, and we're using the regular Adams shampoo, which has been diluted, uh, just like I do for every test, and I've used the shampoo every test. And if you look for a video up here in your corner, you can see the pH testing we did when we validated the quality of the shampoo. So first, we're gonna get everything a nice soaking. Then we're gonna take the sponge we use every test. And we're gonna give things a nice wash. Now we simply give this a rinse and we're gonna call that one wash. The wash has been completed. Let's see how our shampoos are performing. First, the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. And that's performing wonderfully. Now let's take a look at the poly seal and see how it's doing. It's doing really, really well. So at this point, I'm simply continuing this process and then I'll stop to give you guys certain milestones. Let's run soft number six. So guys, six in, I think we're starting to see some really major next step results. So let's take a look at the atoms. So it is starting to deteriorate some more. Let's look at the poly seal. So much the same thing, six in, we are starting to see the next stage of deterioration. All right, I'm gonna do the 14th rinse. This could be it, let's look. So again, we can really see how slow the shampoo is to get off the surface, how stuck everything is. Let's make a judgment call here. Let's look at the atoms. And now let's look at the um, poly seal. It's really close. All right, let's rinse off number 15. All right, guys, decision time. Let's look at the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. Again, kind of on that ridge, there's a pocket that's still working, but if this is my car, I'm redoing it. Now let's look at the Poly Seal. It was just a hair ahead. Maybe one more wash for the Poly Seal. So we're gonna call the Adams H2O Garden Gloss at 15 washes. So yeah guys, let's look, I think it's done. Yeah guys, there we go. Now that's looking like the Adam side. So let's talk about my final thoughts. I thought both of these products were really tight. It was a really close race and I think both worked well for what they promised. You know, I think getting 15 and 16 durability points, you know, that many washes out of a product is great, especially an easy to use product that can be used wet. Furthermore, you know, the gloss hit was there and I think this is where the poly seal did a little better. It was uh, about an extra gloss point, uh, less loss than the Adams H2O Garden Gloss. I think optically the poly seal looked a little nicer. It was just maybe a little bit more of a candy coat than the Adams, but both looked really good. You know, you generally want that treated side to have that luster, that pop, that uh, deep candy look, and some products just don't do it, but both of these did. Just, I think the Adams was maybe a hair under the Poly Seal. So ultimately between these two, I would say the Poly Seal squeaks by as a winner, 
but they were so close that I would say if you wanted one of these for that really nice optical quality, just get whichever one you can get cheaper. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting and you learned about some new products that you might have not tried before. And as usual, I wanna see you guys down below in the comments and I hope you subscribe and like. Catch you real soon.